Welcome to the Shred Zone. This video is about how to sweep pick seventh chords. Is it really possible? Nope, just give up and die. Now, what the devil is a seventh chord? A seventh chord is what jazz players made up to make everybody else feel stupid. Douchebags. A regular triad contains three notes, the root, third, and fifth. In the case of G major, that'd be G, B, and D. A seventh chord adds one extra note for a total of four notes. Thus, G7 would be G, B, D, and F. How terrifying! Take heart and let Shred show you the way. <laughs> How does Sweet pick seventh chords? Is it really possible? What a daunting proposition. Well, let's find out. So this first shape I've got going is derived from the C form of the cage system. The regular C form for G major, starting at the 10th fret of the A string, goes like this. Now, we're going to make it a G major 7 instead of just regular G, so we're going to add an F sharp note, G, B, D, and F sharp. So what we've got is 10th fret of the A string with your pinky, 9th fret of D with your ring, 7th fret of G with your index, and then you're going to bar to the 7th fret of the B string with your index, hammer on to the 8th fret of the B string, and then pull off back to the 7th fret of the B string, and that's the whole leg. Major seventh chords sound like paradise. Paradise with unlimited amounts of chicks. Yeah, yeah. Real briefly, let's cover the mechanics of sweet picking technique. The idea with sweet picking technique is when you play an arpeggio, you're gonna make one continuous picking motion when ascending, instead of picking the pick off of each string. It's just one motion. And when you descend the arpeggio, it's the opposite. You point the pick in an upward direction, and it's just one continuous motion again, though. Just letting that pick drop from string to string, pushing right through, instead of picking it up and resetting. And that's what makes the technique efficient and fast. Next, we have two arpeggios taken from the A form of the cage system. A stands for asshole because these are a doozy. So the regular A shape for G major starts on the 10th fret of the A string. But this is about 7th chord, so we're going to add uh, the 7th, which is going to make it G major 7, and again, that seventh is going to be an F sharp note. So what we're going to do is start on the 10th fret of the A string with the index, hammer on to the 14th fret with your pinky, and then we've got 12, 12, and 12 on D, G, and B, up to the 10th fret on the high E string, and then we've got 14th fret on the high E string with your pinky, and that's the seventh of the chord, that F sharp. And then just reverse it back down. Now, for G7, piece of cake, we just flap that major 7th degree down to an F natural from an F sharp. So G7 is going to be spelled G B D F. And so what we've got is the same thing, A string 10, 14, 12, 12, 12, 10, and then 11 on high E instead of, four, or I'm sorry, 13 on high E instead of 14. Now isn't that delightful? Better than a three pound burrito and 27 beers. 
Well, I don't know about that. Well, as it turns out, seven chords are possible to sweep. What a relief. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the lesson. Be sure to check out my Instagram and Snapchat for daily interaction with Shredmaster Scott. Be sure to send me all your rare boutique gear, tell your mom and dad how bitchin' I am, and of course, give me the keys to your house. Shred till you're dead. <laughs>